Why does the narcissist hate you? It may seem as though the narcissist only hates you, but they actually hate everyone. They just pretend to be kind to people if they believe that they can get something from them. They hate everyone, including themselves. They actually hate themselves more than anyone else. They hate themselves because of their inadequacies and their insecurities. They hate you just for existing. Because whenever you are around them, it reminds them that they are not perfect. It reminds them of their inadequacies and their insecurities. It makes them feel as though they are not good enough. It may seem as though the narcissist hates you, but really that hate is towards themselves. It's just projected outwards. Whether their emotions are positive or negative, they are never genuine. When they are positive, it's used to obtain supply or extract something from you. When their emotions are negative, it's to project their own self-hatred onto you and it also gives them supply. Whether their emotions are positive or negative, it never has anything to do with the other person. It's always about them. It's always about using people to regulate their emotions or boost their self-esteem. But they don't even see us as real people. We are just objects used to serve them. We are objects that they use to either make themselves feel better or to hurt themselves. It may seem as though the narcissist is playing a game with us, but they are actually just playing a game with themselves. We are nothing more than objects that they are using to play the game. Narcissists hate people who are not broken or weak. They hate people who still have hope or belief in themselves. They hate people who make their own decisions. People who have lots of energy. Because these qualities and traits trigger the narcissist to reflect on how they do not have hope or belief in themselves. They hate people who make their own decisions because they want to be the ones who make the decisions for them. They want to be in control. They hate people who have lots of energy because they don't have any energy of their own. They have to extract it from positive people. They hate you, but they actually admire you at the same time. They admire your qualities and traits. And this is also the reason why they hate you. Because it triggers them to reflect on how they don't possess those qualities or traits. They become envious and want to take it from you. Because they believe that you are not worthy or deserving of possessing those qualities and traits. They believe that you are superior to them. So they want to destroy the perception that other people have of you. 
They are jealous of how other people perceive you. They are jealous of the attention and admiration that you receive. They believe that the attention and admiration that you are receiving is meant for them and you are taking it away from them. They have to put you down to make themselves feel as though they are above you. They don't want to do the work by developing their own qualities and traits. They have neglected themselves for so long that they do not possess the capabilities or potential to compete against those who are developed. Instead of relieving the pain of their insecurities by working on, them, on themselves, they choose to attack and destroy anyone or anything that threatens them. They target people who have desirable or admirable qualities and traits only so they can then have power and influence over them and then direct their behavior or the course of events. They will then transfer or extract these qualities and traits from the person in an unfair or underhanded way and use them for emotional strength and as a defense. They will focus their attention on every aspect of your life and take over anything that you're doing or anything that you're about so that they can make it all about them. But no matter how much they try, they can never fully adopt your qualities and traits. They can never fully take up, follow or use them as their own. And this is what builds up their hatred and resentment towards you. The bitterness, anger and annoyance by what was perceived as unfair treatment. Your existence reminds them that they cannot possess your qualities and traits. This is why they hate you. They hate you because they perceive you as being superior to them. They expect you to hide your qualities and traits so that no one will notice or admire you. Because any time that someone recognizes your worth or compliments you, it makes the narcissist jealous. They feel as though you are taking away the attention and admiration that was meant for them. They are jealous of the attention and admiration that you are receiving. And this is why they have to sabotage everything that you are doing. They want and expect you to hide your qualities and traits and sacrifice the person that you are or the person that you are meant to be so that they can shine. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.